What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our series of best players in each position for all budgets. So you can see Dembele looking on there. Will he get top spot? Who knows? He is a beast. He is a demon. We will take a look in a second, but we have a couple of budget options as well. And we are going to kick off with the cheapest option on this, but he is still a beast, right? So we've got this guy, Pesic, and he plays for Slavia Braga or Slavia Prague, I should say, in the other European leagues. And I think he's about 5,900. We'll get confirmation of that in a second when we go over to eFootball DB. But look at his base stats, man. First time shot for the player skills, double touch. We have all those. That's fine. Track back and fighting spirit. It's always nice to have a hard working winger if you are going to be playing a lot of attacking, you know, interception heavy football through the middle. To have that option out wide of somebody that's going to track back and help you, it is going to be huge. But this guy goes up to a whopping 95 accept acceleration 87 balance 80 dribbling 80 stamina 92 speed and he is only seven and a half thousand gp insane and he also has unwavering form and his quick counter can go up 30 points to 96 overall next up we have a man that needs no introduction if you've been playing e-football since the beginning or if you are a newcomer you still might have heard of this guy doku or doku uh count doku from star wars is what i call him sometimes but this guy is an absolute legend of eFootball 2022. One of my favorite players to use way back when, uh, when the game first launched. He's super cheap, he's super fast, he's got excellent player skills. He doesn't have first time pass or first time uh, shot or anything like that. So he is more of a traditional speed first winger. And there's a couple of players like that in here that are just speed, acceleration, tight dribbling, tight moving, uh, versatility, and be able to play multiple positions. Next up, we have got Ito. Now, I would say that Ito is kind of a harder player to use right he's not raw pace but the big reason why he's on is because he is a super sub he also has pinpoint crossing as well as double touch and dipping shot and long range curler right so he's got a mix of everything with true passing as well we are going to use him as kind of a, a, a kind of a mixed player right so he can play right mid or right wing we can actually have him a little bit more defensive if we want him um right mid but for this video it is players strictly in this position he always seems to be in good form lads he's having a great season i do have the legend version of him and he just handles so well man on the right flank he's so good he has got low dribbling compared to some other players but those player skills for passing kind of put him in the category of De Maria, who we'll see in a little minute as well speaking of all-rounders we have Rafa Silva this guy one of my favorite players to watch in real world football as well when I do watch the Portuguese league and I do really like Rafa Silva from way back when in my club he was always kind of one of these players that you could buy in my club if you've never played my club before it was obviously the mode that came before Dream Team with Pez, when it was still the Pez franchise. 78 overall, but he goes up to an 89 overall as a prolific winger. And again, look at those player skills, right? So he's got lovely shooting and dribbling player skills. He's also got excellent dribbling, dribbling for 51,000 GP and brilliant speed, acceleration and balance, right? A little bit worried about the stamina, but you will be replacing him in the second half if you start him or else bring him on as a sub. Now, we had to put Salah up there, right? I'm still not um, I'm still not over, you know, the drubbing, 7-0 drubbing of watching my team United, um, you know, lose to Liverpool. But look, I haven't been able to play with Salah. I don't really like using him in the game, but he is the most expensive right winger in the game. And he does have ex excellent stats, right? I do obviously prefer to use Messi. He goes up to a 94 overall on the right flank. And he is as close to Messi as you can possibly get. If you are a Liverpool fan, he's probably a mainstay in your team. Um, but I just can't use him that much. That's why he's a bit down in the ratings. But again, really high 80s in the dribbling, the pace, acceleration, the balance and the stamina. So, And he's able to finish as well. Next up, we've got Kiesa. This guy as a right winger is the ultimate winger for me if you are going to be looking for a super sub, right? I think there's only one or two like outright wingers that are just pure pace, that also have the, have the technique. You've got everything that you could possibly want here. And he is a super sub with fighting spirit, which is huge. He's going to be able to intercept balls. He doesn't have any defense stats, but he will be able to with that fighting spirit. He won't get as tired with the stamina and V2.4. He obviously still has excellent dribbling at 90, excellent acceleration. And he's able to pass the ball. What more could you want? He's 170,000 GP, but I do think he's worth every penny. Right, now, we mentioned kind of a, a winger that's going to be a little bit different. That doesn't rely on just blistering pace, right? Because there's a big difference between using somebody like De Maria or using somebody uh, like Rafa Silva, who's just going to be like serious, serious pace, or Dembele, who we'll get to in a second. 
This guy, Demaria lads, has been one of the best players in the history of Pez and now the history of eFootball for the last couple of years. Every iteration of the game, he seems to be an excellent player to use. He's got brilliant team play style when you pump it up too. And then on top of that, right, we also have uh, speed, acceleration, but we've also got the passing and all the passing skills that you could want with one touch pass, pinpoint crossing. He's also got a load of dribbling skills and shooting skills, and he's awesome across the pitch. Next up, we've got the Abbey. Uh, we've got two more. The Abbey is the second last. Now, this guy, I've come up against him quite a bit. I know there was a different version of him, and he is on D rating in this uh, in this little video here. So he's obviously, you know, not somebody that I'd recommend if he is on D rating. You're not going to be able to play him that often. But blistering fast, you know, absolutely insane speed. You'll see here in a second, especially the acceleration is going to go to a whopping 98 with the training guide. As ever, as you can just pause these training guide videos. These are the ultimate versions, in my opinion, for the average player you can tweak it a little bit depending on your play style and your possession or quick counter tactics or whatever there was a different version of him and we also did have a player of the week and um, that was slightly better but i think this version of him here is probably the ultimate and easiest to use look at the dribbling look at the acceleration and the balance i mean if you can't play with him as a winger i don't know what to say and then last but not least we have dembele in my opinion lads there's a couple of players that didn't make this list that I really, really do rate, such as Anthony um, and a few players like that that missed out. Um, you know, there's Maraz as well there, or Maraz. He's obviously somebody that misses out. But if you're looking just for a pure outright winger, right, for pace, acceleration, directness, and being able to dictate the wing play with tricks, flicks, and everything in between, you have to buy them Bella lads. I think he is an amazing player in the game. He's so easy to use. He's just so fast, so rapid. He plays way above his stats. He's got that beautiful 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 dribbling little kind of tripod going on there or a tripod of stats or trinity of stats. And again, with the balance, I, I kind of find that he's very, very strong on the ball um, if you do a couple of tricks and you keep the ball tight to his feet, right? So there obviously was different and better versions of him than the standard car, but this uh, this is a very good version of him for 180,000. You can't go wrong on the right flank. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you enjoyed this series. Every player in every position for all budgets, check out the rest of the playlist. Any recommendations, get them into me and we'll have a look at them. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.